that the bride that you now have is a player. I can only imagine that you are one of the men that will be incredible. Christ only knows I went out to the field. I need a Christ for every day. All of us have to chip in. Just being back in this position, it's been a long time coming. It's time to vote. I fully do believe my time is coming. Since Boston clinched to the East, we're now approaching the finals somewhat slowly. NBA Finals get kicked off Thursday. The Mavericks travel to Boston for game one against the Celtics. Kyrie Irving prepares to face the former team and led them in scoring in 17, 18, 18, 19 as well. Second player since the merger to lead the team in scoring for season and then play against them in the finals. You heard Kyrie with us last week after Dallas knocked out Minnesota on it. There he is. I'm facing the fans in Boston. Being aware of what it's going to be like. You, you know, you call it animosity. We call it hate. We call it, you know, it's going to be hell in Boston. I mean, there are real life circumstances going on in the world that are bigger than the basketball uh, kind of competitive side of things and answering those questions. But I will say, you know, last time in Boston, not this regular season, but when we played in the playoffs and everyone saw me flip off the birds and kind of lose my a little bit. That wasn't a great reflection of who I am and how I like to compete on a high level. I'm built for these moments to be able to handle circumstances like that. And I've been able to grow since then. So uh, of course it's going to be a hectic environment, but I'm looking forward to it. And I see it as a healthy relationship to have with the fans. You know, it's good to hear the TV guard silent uh, when you're playing well, but it's still respect great basketball. So I'll take the brunt of it, of all the yells and stuff like that and all the remarks, but I've been able to grow since then and acknowledge that, um, you know, I just can handle things better, especially when I want to put majority of my energy towards playing well. I can't just be getting into it with fans like that, even though it may be fun at times, but it's a waste of energy. It's a waste of my time. And it's also a waste of my talent. You know, people are going to bring up the record and all the extra stuff. Again, there's days, there's idle time in between. So you see the media coming to doing their normal thing, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the challenge on the court against the Boston Celtics and being able to beat my guys. Celtics are favored to win the finals at ESPN Fan. The first time the team from the Eastern Conference was favored to win the series since 2013 when the Heat beat the Spurs. Prior to them, it was the Heat a couple years before that, 2011. Before that, you got to go back in time to Michael Jordan, last dance. The United Age Bulls, who of course beat the Utah Jazz. Caitlin Clark named Rookie of the Month in the WNBA on Tuesday. Quite a busy month at that in a lot of different ways. The Fever played 11 games in 20 days. Now, for context, I was curious, going back to college. Iowa played Wisconsin December the 10th. That was the Hawkeyes' first Big Ten game. It took them 48 days to play 11 games. Perhaps it was a bit of understandable fatigue for Clark and her teammates. They got thumped on Sunday by New York. Clark had just three points. As for Saturday and that foul by Chicago, the conversation continuing Monday all over the place. And the people in the sky were not interested much in discussing the topic on Saturday. They did talk about it today. If I don't have any regrets with anything, I'm going to compete and play 100% hard no matter who it is, like I said, or who we're playing. No, no, I don't have any regrets. You can't pick and choose who gets to play the one who plays and choose. It's at the same time, me being the player that I am, I will move accordingly with certain players that you just can't even go back and forth with. It we can't happen this time. So I will move accordingly with a situation. <laughs> we did not in any way need to harm anyone, not in any way want to disrespect the game. That's not what we're about, and we will never be about that. The game is always been physical. It's been very, very physical. You can go back and look at the game to start from when very small started, and just start to watch all this film about this when this game is. I mean, you can probably take a look at my body and tell the game's pretty damn physical. Take a look at me. It all started from the national championship game. I've been dealing with this for two years now. And understanding, like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me, but honestly, I'll take that because look at women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball.